There are a lot of different methods that you can use to clean costume jewelry. And I'm going to show you a few of them today that I like to use. The first one I'm going to show you is white vinegar with a drop of dish liquid in it. And I'm just gonna steer this around. What you don't want to do is you don't want to put full backed rhinestones into this solution. Getting full backed rhinestones or real pearls wet, um, and you don't want to put pearls in this, real pearls especially, because it will eat away at it. I'm going to show you the back of this earring. You can see it has a lot of verdigris on it. Now these do have rhinestones but I'm not gonna submerse it all the way. I'm just gonna wet the back of this. I'm just gonna hold that there for a few seconds. You can see how it's removed all of the verdigris from this piece. What I like to do is use a soft toothbrush and just brush the back of the piece. You can lay it on a towel to dry. You can also use a hair dryer on very low heat to help dry the piece. Verdigris is a natural patina that forms on copper when it oxidizes. Verdigris will form on vintage jewelry when it's been exposed to water, makeup, perfume, hairspray, and other types of contaminants. If it's not caught in time, it can severely damage your jewelry. You can see the verdigris on these old West Germany earrings. And because they're all plastic, I'm going to let these soak in the solution for about five minutes. Then I'll come back and I'll show you the result. And there's the result. It's removed all of that. Important to remove the verdigris off of these old pieces because it can spread until it completely covers them. And it can also spread to other pieces that these pieces are stored with. This is another pair of earrings I wanted to show. These have these are clip-ons and they have the old clip covers on them. You can see the back of this is plastic. This is an example of what can happen when you store your costume jewelry in something that is airtight, like a plastic Ziploc bag that's zipped up. The pieces, they don't get air and this is what happens. They'll start growing a lot of verdigris on them. Remove these covers. I've already removed the one. But you can see that is it's eaten into it like rust. And here's the other one. You can see it has a lot of this green goop on it. I'm going to drop those in there and I'm going to let them soak for a while. Meanwhile, I'm going to show you another method that I like to use to polish up old pieces of jewelry. You can also use this to remove verdigris. This is tomato sauce. If you don't have tomato sauce, you can use ketchup. The reason this works is the acidity in the tomatoes. Now, I don't recommend leaving the jewelry soaking in it for a long period of time. I usually leave it about three minutes, and it'll also help polish up that metal. Again, you have to be careful if you have jewelry that has rhinestones in it. You don't want to get the rhinestones wet. You might want to put this on, or rather than use tomato sauce, use like tomato paste and gently put it in the areas away from the rhinestones. This is a necklace from my collection. I'll show you the back of it. You can see that the stone's not foil backed, it's glass. The reason I want to clean this is, of course, we have some spots on it that are kind of faded, has a little bit of verdigris. I'm going to put these ends of the necklace in here, just like so. And I'm going to let that soak for about three minutes and then I'm going to come back and show you the result. I'm also going to give this part of the necklace a really good soak. I'm gonna give you a really good look at it and I'll do a before and after picture also.
After I've removed the piece from the tomato sauce, what I like to do is lay it on paper towels and then I very gently rub it with a soft toothbrush. You want to use a soft bristle toothbrush. Now this that you see here, this is just where the piece is old and some of the patina has worn off. It was that way before I put it into the solution. See how much cleaner it is? Doesn't have quite the buildup that it did have on it. This necklace is quite old and it does have some wear on it, but it cleaned up very well. These have been sitting for a while. I'm going to take them out and you'll notice right here, this one has a little bit of the green left on it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back in the solution and I'm going to use a toothbrush and gently brush that away. This is the end result. It removed all of that from these earrings. If I would have left it on there much longer, it probably would have eaten into the material and it would have discolored it. It would have took off the finish that was on the material and given it a rusted look. On these earrings, I've already cleaned them in the solution to remove the verdigris. What I'm gonna show you now is I'm gonna use my polishing cloth and I'm going to polish the silver part of these earrings and show you what a difference that this little polishing cloth can make. This is Connoisseur's Gold Jewelry Polishing Cloth. It works on gold and silver jewelry. One side is for cleaning and that's the white side. You can see I've used it quite a bit. And the other side is for polishing, which is this side. It's a kind of a pale purple color. You can find these online at Amazon. I also find them in a lot of department stores. Near the jewelry counter, they will have a section that carries, where they carry jewelry cleaner and they also usually have these cloths. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this cloth and I'm gonna polish the silver part of this earring up. I'll also post a before and after picture so you can get a really good look at the difference. And here they are all polished up. That little cloth can really work wonders for cleaning tarnish off of your jewelry and polishing the pieces up. This is the next piece that I'm going to soak in my solution. You can see it has quite a bit of verdigris built up around it. Probably gonna leave this in here for three to five minutes. When it's soaking, I'll just come in with my toothbrush and I'll try to brush a little bit of that away very gently. So I'm ready to remove this piece from the water and I'm going to show you that it removed all of that verdigris. Now I did use a soft toothbrush while this was soaking and just gently rubbed at the areas to help get it out of the crevices, but you can see that it looks 100% better. The last piece that I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna do a cleaning on are these earrings. These are just some old vintage clip-on earrings. I'm going to put these in the tomato sauce solution to see if we can get some of the life back into them. Now, a lot of people don't like to do this. They don't want, they want their jewelry to have that patina. But just looking at these, you can see there's some verdigris there. So I'm hoping by doing this, that's gonna get rid of that. Again, you can use ketchup to gently remove verdigris or tomato sauce, as I'm doing today, but it also polishes up a lot of these old pieces of jewelry. If you don't want the piece to be polished up, then I suggest that you use the white vinegar with a little drop of dish liquid on it, and that's just gonna eat away the verdigris, that, and a soft toothbrush. But what we're gonna do with these is we're just gonna dunk these 
and the tomato sauce, and I'm going to let them sit for about three minutes. So here we have these earrings and they're all cleaned up. All of the verdigris is gone. One thing I did want to show you is what you see here, right in this area. This is old glue. Even though they look to be prong set, at one time or the other, they may have come loose and someone used glue to put them back in. You can see how soaking them has really cleaned them up and it's gotten rid of the verdigris. These are all the pieces now that they've been cleaned. So it really does come in handy. Those are a few really good tips that you can use for cleaning pieces of jewelry. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to share this content with me. I hope that this has been informative and that it will help you with cleaning, polishing, and removing some verdigris from your pieces of finished jewelry. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on more content about collecting vintage and antique items. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.